Praise the Lord, everybody. My name is Sean Henry Scott Sr. I go, my position in the body of Jesus Christ is an apostle. And today, unlike before, God has given me a word for 2013. It's called 2020 for the 2013 revelation. 2020, talking about the 2020 Uzi that's used for vision, but 2020 for the 2013 revelation. There's not a time when I've been on the internet where someone is talking about this is the year of the snake or this is the year of deception. And we in our ministry fast at the beginning of the year <clears throat> and generally we get information concerning the, the, the forthcoming year of how we're supposed to conduct ourselves in our outreach ministry. And this year in particular, God gave me this word, not just so for our, our, our part of the vineyard, our body, but for those that are stuck on the fact of this year of deception. And this word God gave me, I believe, is for everybody. That's why I'm sharing it in this manner. I do share a word like this all the time, but this is something that I really believe God wanted me to put out. So once again, this is the first, this is the intro video for this particular word concerning 2020. Talk much of vision for 2013 Revelation. <clears throat> and the purpose for this word is in Psalms 107:20, it says, He sent his world and he, he sent his word and he healed them. And delivered them from their destruction. Once again, that's 10720 Psalms. There are some of us and some of those that are going through right now. I'm still getting calls as if it's like towards 2012, and folks was just calling, pray for me about this, pray for me about that. This is happening, that's happening. One thing I love about being a believer of Jesus Christ is that can't nothing just come and overtake us or just jump on us, or there's a purpose and a reason for everything we go to, go through, sorry. And in this particular scripture, it says he sent his word and he healed them and delivered them from their destruction. I believe this is one of the many words you will receive in 2013 concerning how you're to conduct yourself to receive the promises that God has for you. Now, you know, they can say, I, we, don't, we don't serve Confucius or Buddha or none of the other religions or gods. And they can say it's the year to snake all they want to. But this is what God told me concerning this 2020, uh, 2013 revelations. And what happens to those that reject the word from God? In Hosea 4, 6, it says, My people are destroyed by lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. That thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. This word for this season is for healing, deliverance, and then for prosperity as your soul prosper. Once again, this word right here, 2020 for Revelation for 2013, is for healing, deliverance, for prosperity, as your soul prosper. You know, God desires for us to prosper, but if your soul is not prospering, quite frankly, that if you're, you're just making money and you're prospering in the world, but your soul is damned, what good is it? It's a temporary thing. God wants you to prosper, but he wants you to prosper as your soul prosper. And um, this is just an intro video for what this teaching and preaching. I'm going to be doing this every week until we do. I have 12 pages basically dealing with the scriptures. And for those who like to follow along in the Bible, you can turn in your Bible to 2 Chronicles, uh, verses chapter 20. We're going to do verses 1 through 37. I believe it's 37 verses of scripture. And what God showed me is that 2, obviously, is, is a, the word, the number for covenant. And 20, you know, God, 2, 20. That's what God showed me, 220 then 2020. That's what God showed me. I don't know how God speaks to you or why he speaks to you, but I know how and why he speaks to me. I've been saved long enough to where I know I hear his voice. So that's what God gave me. He said two was covenant, and then two, 20 times two is 2020. You need to be able to see God this year. This is not going to be a year, a season, or time where you can say, well, I think I'm supposed to do this, or maybe I'll do that. No, you need to know that you know that you know that you know you're doing exactly what God has told you to do or you need to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Another prophetic piece that goes along with this is that Purim 2013 begins the evening of Saturday, February 23rd and ends the evening of Sunday, February 24th. Now, I know Purim, what's that? It's in the Bible. Now, um, you might say, well, I'm not Jewish. Well, God uses everything. Let's check this out. Purim is a Jewish holiday that commemorates the deliverance of the Jewish people in the ancient Persian Empire from destruction in wake of a plot by Haman, a story recorded in, biblical, in the biblical book of Esther. So we will be uh, in contrast since that's coming up in February. 
I believe all this is running right, right into each other. You know, a lot of people do different things to uh, honor God, you know, your feast, your festival, your observance, your anniversary, whatever. But this is what God has given me. And I already know. I've already put it out on CD, DVD, and now we're doing it on YouTube. I put this out a bunch of different ways because, uh, quite frankly, he hasn't let me go. Every time I try and say, okay, I did it, you know, that's enough, God was like, nope, keep pounding that. I want that, I want that heard. I want that word out. Well, for the rest of this month, we'll be speaking out of 2 Chronicles 21, 37. It's going to be the rest of this week, pretty much, for this portion of it. In our ministry, we're dealing with it. I've never felt so strongly about delivering a right now word in my life as I do about this word. I know this will bless you if you let it. And this is just the intro for this word. I want you to prepare for it. I'm going to put up videos. Every time I do a video, I'm going to upload it. It's going to say intro, then part one, part two, part three, so on and so forth. So you're going to have to stay tuned. If you really believe this for God, I will ask that you pray and tell God to reveal to you what it is you're supposed to get out of it. If, you was watch, if you're watching me right now, you was led to it for one reason or another. And if you was led to it, um, God has something for you. And once again, this is a 2020, uh, 2013 revelation. I believe this is what God is saying. He's revealing something to his people right now concerning the blessings and the things that he's about to bless his people with. Once again, my name is Sean Henry Scott Sr. I am an apostle in the body of Jesus Christ. And if you ever need us for anything, you can be, feel free to call 614-847-2057 or 614-723-9770. And we're going to get into the next video. You'll see we'll actually be starting from uh, verse 1, and we'll get we'll get into it, and um, it's going to be good. You know, I get, every time I went back to it, uh, I get more out of it, and I believe God is about to speak some mighty things into your life. Amen. God bless you.